Hi, this is Bob from Bolo again, and today we're going to put fabric on leather. I and what we've done before is I sprayed starch. I, I sprayed this with starch. You can see it's 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 kind of on the thick side, but that's because it's starch. This way, the the uh, glue does not go through the uh, the material, creating this to be kind of a sticky mess. So what we're doing also on my fabric here. I have a top and you know and a top on both sides so what I did is I stitch it in half so this when the sides are up you'll see it'll it'll you know you can read it easily it'll turn upside down what I'm doing is I'm gonna do one half first and then the other half so I've uh, centered it on this line right here there's a center line here and I'll put this mark here so right now I will paint or I will put glue on this here and what I do is I keep my my uh, glue brushes in water here and you clean it out every so often. <clears throat> I use this as a water-based glue that I got from Springfield uh, Springfield Leather and I put it in a couple different bottles. I have this for the brushes, I have this for getting little tight spaces and this is my general purpose that I uh, spread all over. Um, I do water it down and I put some water in here uh, so it's a little bit easier to flow. Otherwise, it's kind of thick. So as we go, we will start. All right? I can with this bottle here. I can uh, spread it out and not have to. Um, uh, it's just easier to do it this way here. This way, it's easier to put out, and I just run the lines, and I just get on the line here, and I just give it a good coat, and. We're going to do a section at a time because we do the whole thing, the glue dries out, and then the material really doesn't stick that well. So we put the glue down, and then we put the material down every few inches. This way, it'll dry, and it'll adhere to the fabric. Yes, I got it on my bench here, but I can just scrape that off. The uh, My mats here from US Art, I got an Amazon. This one here is... 80 inches uh, by 40. Um, the four by the 48 by uh, 96 was quite expensive though. So we just got this one. So what we've done now is we put this on here and we're gonna lay this on there and we're going to put it on it while it's still wet. So now it's on the center line here. I'm gonna get some rollers. Of course I forgot that. Let me grab that. Here's a weighted roller that I use. I use this for a number of things. And we have just a regular, you can use a credit card and such like that. So we've got that, we peel this back just a little bit more and we apply some more glue on this here. Okay, just in, in sections. This way we know it's gonna stick, all right? So I try to be as quick as I can we don't want the glue to dry the glue dries it really doesn't stick all that well and if you'd like and I would appreciate that you would uh, subscribe and uh, maybe share this if it helps others and that's what I'm trying to do I'm not an expert but I, I know how I do things I might do them a little bit different so this might give you an idea of how I do things and other people do things <clears throat> so here we go again. I'm going to lay this out. <coughs> we have our spatula here. Okay. Over. And it's looking pretty good. Once again, we put another row down. And we're... These brushes have been in this water. Not the same water, but it's been in there. I've used the same brushes for maybe four or five years. So, got to change the water. Um, I, I change like every couple of weeks because um, I don't do this uh, full time. I do this part time on the weekends or if I can sneak home during the week from driving. So, um, you don't want to put too much glue down here because that'll. It, it could still uh, seep through 
the material even with the starch on there. So we like to keep it like this. And before it even gets a chance to dry or tack up, we put it on there. Fold it back over. And we just... And I spread glue on basically the same way, unless it's a small item. Then I use this little container here, little mason jar. Putting it out. <coughs> Excuse me. I have never had a separation doing it this way. Um, the uh, starch, spray starch, was not my idea. I'd gotten that from another leather work that suggested it because I asked them how we did it. So I don't know if he wants to be named, but he, uh, he, he does a lot. He does really nice work. Okay, put it on here again. Spread it out. Last part. Mm, we got a clog in there somehow. something clogged in there, I gotta take it apart again. Sometimes the glue dries in there. And then I made it larger, and then when it dries, and all I do is, is I trim it off. Now on the edge, the top, what I'll do is I'll usually do some lacing around it so just in case it gets hit that it doesn't separate such like that but as I said before I've never really had a problem with it before so. Take it, spread it out, and none of the glue has come through at all. So now we take a rollers and we roll that down. Normally, I wouldn't spin the whole thing, but I'm leaving it on this side because of the video. So we'll leave this here, we'll flip this over. And now we'll do this side. You see, it's sticking pretty good here. So what we'll do is we'll shoot some underneath there, just a little bit. And then we'll get that oops, we'll stuck a little better than I thought. Anyway. I'm not moving it because I don't want the glue to be on the uh, on the face of it at all. Yesterday I posted a video of me spray painting or uh, dyeing this here, and I used my uh, Pache uh, VL double action, and it took like 20 minutes to do that. So I went out and I got a from Harbor Freight one of their um, uh, smaller touch-up guns which I haven't tried it yet I'll probably get the other piece in there and, and I will do that one so, there we go. Right, so this will be on the bottom so, and you can see this actually is stuck already you see it I don't want to peel it because I don't want to break the seal but see it, it's still pretty good okay so here. Right. <coughs> Peel this back again. We'll do some more. 
I gotta stick something in to get that. I don't want to squeeze it too hard because I want the top coming off. And as I said, this is never, I've never had anything peeled doing it this way. So. Oh, it is getting clogged up. I'm going to take that apart and put some kind of a needle through there to open it up. Okay, here we go. See, it's not a lot of glue. It's just a little. Go down here. Once again. As I said, you can also use a credit card too. I actually bought credit cards on, you know, blank ones on um, Amazon, like a hundred of them, because I use those to uh, stretch out my wallets, the credit card slots. What a pain in the ass. At least I get something here to clean that out. Go down here. Uh, what is it? Anyway, back to here. We're just sticking a, um, here we go. Oh, I really got clogged up in there. There we go. Get that off. Come there. And well, that comes out a lot better now. But anyway, so now we're. here Oops, watch that oh, I want to see it yep okay here we go and once again on the table but I'll wipe that off. That'll just scrape off when it dries if I don't get it when it's still wet. It's no big deal. Comes off. Oh, that's a lot. And I hope this helps. You know, as I said before, you know, if you would subscribe and get more of these videos out there and as I go along and we'll do things, you know, I'll show you how I do things. Uh, might be a little bit different than everybody else's. So. Okay. And we're almost done. Okay, and we're done. And then we clean our brush. We just stick it here and wash it on a couple times. And we're done. We just leave it in there. Flip this over. Take a roller. Roll everything again. It's not sticky here at all. There's no glue coming through here because of the starch. And the starch I got from uh, Dollar General, it was like a couple dollars or something like that. Okay. We'll just let that dry. There we go. All right. Now we just let it dry. All right. Once again, um, I thank you. And if you could subscribe, I would appreciate it. Might have said that too many times, but thank you. Bye now.